In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up two-factor authentication in Joomla so you can use your YubiKey USB key for logging securely into your site. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too, and thank you for tuning in to this tutorial. For the longest time, I really didn't pay attention to two-factor authentication because I didn't know what it was, so I didn't know how it worked, and I didn't want to play around with it because I was worried that I would lock myself out of my site. But that is uh, not the case, nothing to worry about. And uh, in this video, I'll show you, just like I said, how to set it up so you can use the YubiKey for logging in. What is two-factor authentication? According to Wikipedia, two-factor authentication, also known as 2FA, is a type or subset of multi-factor authentication. It's a method of confirming users' claimed identities by using a combination of two different factors, something they know, something they have, or something they are. So basically, in setting up two-factor authentication, you're setting up Joomla to require a username, a password, and something else before a person is allowed to log into the site. So let's turn our attention to the screens and check it out. I'm happy to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Phil Taylor and MyJoomla.com. Phil reached out and asked me if I'd do this video. He purchased a YubiKey USB key, sent it to me all the way from the bailiwick of Jersey to here on the left coast of Canuck land. And uh, that's the video happening today. And I'm really glad that he did because it's been fun figuring this out and learning this and learning what I'm about to show you. You know, I make reference to a lot of stuff in myjuma.com, the tools, especially on Maintenance Monday live streams, because it really is an incredible and powerful site for anybody who has a Joomla site, whether you have one Joomla site or you have a whole bunch of Joomla sites. If you got one Joomla site, look at what's available to you. You can have a snapshot of your site showing what's going great, some recommendations, an audit, looking at the practices and things happening in your site. You can schedule backups for your Joomla site. You can uh, check for updates for extensions on your Joomla site. Look for alerts of things that have been happening. You can even get emails sending you, uh, sent to you when certain things happen on your site, like somebody logging in, a log of the activity on there, and you can also set up an uptime monitor. Now, a bunch of those things you see aren't set up right here for this site because I just installed the site for today's tutorial. If you have multiple Joomla sites, you can use all of those tools on all of those sites. And instead of having to log into each site and manage and update things, you can do it all from this one interface. As you see right now, I am managing about 49 different sites and this is a huge time saver for me. Also, I have people who are too busy to maintain their sites. Also, people who aren't aware of the need to maintain their sites, they pay me to do it and I use my Joomla com to do that so if you want if, if you've never checked out myjuma.com head on over to myjuma.com and get a free audit for your Joomla site and see what's recommended and also pay attention to all of the learning resources and links that are on that site and also you could go to basicjuma.com forward slash giveaways because every month i give away well phil gives away through a contest a free one-year membership to manage one site to myjuma.com or a one-month membership to manage multiple sites all right so thanks phil for sponsoring this video and thanks for this key thank you to anybody who sends me tech because that is fun so now let's turn our attention to the screen to see how we can set up joomla to use two-factor authentication the first thing that we want to do is make sure that the two-factor authentication plugins are published in our joomla install there's two one for google and one for yubikey now, in myjoomla.com, that's very easily done. You go to a snapshot of your site. I'm just going to click over here and click this green eyeball to get rid of everything that is okay on this new install. And then that will show what's red. Go down to user accounts and access. See where it says enable two-factor auth plugins? It's not enabled. So we go over. Again, there's a link to learn more, but we'll click on investigate. And we will go down and click fix this for me. We're going to say go ahead. Of course, always when you're working on your site, make sure you have a good backup of your Joomla site because anything can happen when you're working on it. All right, so that is fixed. Now we can go into the back end of the Joomla site and you'll see we now have this field, secret key. We don't put anything in there yet because we haven't set up our account to use a secret key with YubiKey. So we will log in. 
and then let's go to extensions and plugins. Now, if you're not using myjoomla.com and you want to enable those plugins, you would go to extensions, plugins, and then search for FAC. Because factor is in the name of both. And we'll see here that yes, they are activated. If you did not have, if they weren't activated, of course, you would just click the box next to them and click enable. But two-factor authentication is enabled. While we're here, we want to set where two-factor authentication is used as well. So for instance, if I click on two-factor authentication YubiKey, I have the choice to say, use it only on the front end, only on the back end, or on both. And you'll have to come up with your reasons on where you're gonna use it or not to use it. But I'm all for using it on both because it's not going to lock anybody out. So we'll leave that there, but I'll save and close. The next thing that you want to do is go to your account and select which kind of two-factor authentication you want to use. So users and manage. Now, I just created this website, nosecrets.basicjoomla.com, so it really cuts down on what I have to blur out while I'm showing you guys this. Uh, click on your account, and then under the two-factor authentication tab, which is now showing, select the authentication method you want to use. In this case, of course, it's going to be YubiKey. Now, immediately a new field opens up and it says security code. At this point, what you want to do is take your YubiKey USB key and put it in the USB of your computer. It'll bing bong being found as a USB device. And if it's the first time you've used it, it'll probably do a little bit of setup on your computer. The next thing is to make sure that you go down into the security code field and click so that the cursor is flashing. And now you're going to reach back, put your finger on the YubiKey, and you'll see a code fills in. Now notice, this code ends with, with uh, DBJDT. We can take that out, and I'm gonna push that button again. You see a different code goes in there. Now, we'll click Save. You don't wanna save and close because the next thing that you want to do is take note of the one-time emergency passwords that are assigned to your account. If you should happen to be somewhere and you need to log into your site and you don't have your YubiKey USB key with you, you can use one of these codes one time to log in to the back of your site, put that in the secret code field. For instance, if I select this code here, and I'm gonna show this code to you because basically it's going to uh, disappear once we use this up, go up to the, uh, actually, and then we co uh, uh, copy that, save it and close it, now I'm going to go up and log out. Now, without the secret key, I can try to log in. It's just not going to work. See, the two-factor authentication secret key is invalid because there's nothing in there. And I have the USB key plugged in right now as well. But if I right-click and paste that code that I just selected, I can log in and go to our user account. Then click on the two-factor authentication tab. You'll see that now there are only nine codes because that one-time passcode was burned when we used it. So take these codes, print them up somewhere. Uh, don't write down what site they're for. That kills the security of it. Uh, but write them down and write down the number and save it somewhere. You know, Mark it as a water filter serial number or something like that. But hide these away and you'll know that they are for this site in case you can't get back in. Let's close this. Now we'll show you how it works, logging in with the USB key. Again, we're going to log out and click in the secret key field. And I'm going to tap my finger on the USB key. That code gets filled in and I didn't have to click submit. It automatically went and I'm logged in. Hey, there's one other thing that I want to tell you about and that's this. In your user account, these two-factor authentication, one-time emergency passwords, these are unique to this website. I tested it out. If you use your YubiKey to log into a different Joomla site, these one-time emergency passwords are different. The ones that you'll be given are different. So you'll need to keep different numbers for different sites for an emergency login into your site. So there you have it. That's how to set up Joomla to use two-factor authentication and how to use the YubiKey USB key 
for logging into your Joomla site. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if it was helpful for you, then please, please subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you get notifications of new live streams and tutorials as they appear on the site. I have a Maintenance Monday live stream every Monday at 11 o'clock a.m. here on the west uh, on the west coast of Canada, which is, uh, try to remember, 16, no, 1800 UTC. If you have any idea for tutorials or you have any questions about YubiKey and using it on Joomla, then please leave them in the comments below or comment about anything else. So until next time, as always, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.